So now we're getting to sort of the more advanced um, uses of Git. And this is something that, for instance, um, most students won't really be interested in. And it's something that's sort of only really used when you're getting into like companies and whatnot, where they really need to have well-documented um, Git repositories that are very clear and concise into what has happened. So um, before on my merging example, I created two branches, created merge conflicts and merged them together. So we had a situation like this was our, this was our situation here. And this should be the same situation as what's on the slide. Exactly. Right. So we created changes here. We created changes here and then we merged them into here. So both branches had changes that had made commits. So if we look at here, we look at git log. We, we made this change on branch one and we made this branch change on branch two, right? So at the end of our changes, we have made three new commits that only changed one line. So this is quite, um, quite messy. And, um, essentially because we got rid of the changes that branch one made, um, the, the git logs are just getting made messy by this commit that really wasn't useful. Um, this is not always the case, but the thing that git rebase is predominantly used for um, is cleaning up git logs and making things neat. Because we had two engineers change two things, we really only need to say, um, oh, like, well, they sort of changed the same things, but one of them did a, like did something we didn't want. But we want to create this entire, we want to make this entire process simpler and make one change from this thing. And what this, this does is that Git rebase essentially creates patches and then layers them on top of each other and applies this. So, um, if we look at this figure here, you'll see that, um, diffs here, like the differences that are created are made into patches. And then the current branch is essentially, these are just applied in, in turn, right? And so where this is going to benefit us at the moment, is that we two branches modified the same line, but if you were to put the patches on top of each other, one of the patches would more or less not be applied, right? Because it got applied and then deleted. So essentially overall, nothing happened from that, from that um, branch. So now git log, nothing's always changed. And we want to sort of clean up these three commits. So what we're going to do is if we look at Git, uh, we'll look at the manual pages of Git rebase. We want to use interactive because interactive is a very easy way of doing it. So if we look at interactive or the minus I option, wherever it is the documentation for it. Da, 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 da. Keep base upstream empty. Am I missing it? Here we go. So it will show you a list of commits that have been rebased and you'll be able to edit the list and sort of specify what things are going to happen to it. And so it's a really nice way of doing it. So we're going to take, we want to rebase from this commit. So this is the commit before our branching happened. So we're going to control shift C, copy the commit ID, get rebase interactive, and then the commit. So what we're going to see is since then, I should mention that, um, that, oh, sorry, I'll rebase, we'll just abort this because I want to explain something really quickly. That merge commits don't actually appear in rebases because they're essentially just brushed away because most, generally you never want them, right? They're, they're like a very annoying side effect of merge conflicts. So, but anyway, we want to rebase from this one here. So essentially from this commit here. So we have two real commits since this rebase. So we're going to then rebase um, fr from the point before the um, branching happened. And you'll see that there was two commits changed. So there was like the one um, that we made on branch one and the one that we made on branch two. Now we want to create one commit from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to look here and we'll see fix up for instance. So like squish, but we discard the commits log message because what we want to do is we want to put these two commits into one. And so squish, where's squish, squash, sorry. Use commit, but meld into previous commit, right? 
So we're going to put an F here. And what this is going to do is going to merge these two commits together, but it's going to get rid of the commit message here. Um, we could do this and it would keep the commit message. I made the second line more expressive, but we also sort of want to just reword this because we've taken all of the changes for this second line and we want to put them together. So we can use reword, use commit, but um, change, edit the commit message, right? So we've squished this guy and we've reworded this one. So then we'll write and quit the document and we'll get brought to this screen, right? So this is where we're going to modify the commit message. So this is the, cause we put an R for that certain commit that we want to reword it. And this is the current commit message. So we can delete this. And then let's say I want to make it um, made modifications to the second line. So this is sort of summarizing all of the changes. So now I can write and quit this. And now we'll see, for instance, that we have had a, um, if we look at where's the command, um, git rebase, continue. We've had a, a conflict because, ah, sorry, git status. Um, rebasing follows the same procedure in a way that merging does in that we made changes with our two patches to the same line. So git rebase again doesn't know which one to choose because we want to squish these two together um, with the two changes to the same line. We need to actually modify this file, our file. And it's the same idea is that we have these line, we have the markers, but this, um, but now we have a, the commit ID, um, specifically. So we're gonna, we want it to keep, um, we want to keep the pessimistic one like before. So we're going to delete this one, right? So we're going to, we've essentially gotten back to the same stage we were before. Now we've modified it. We're at the same thing again, but now we're not going to add it, but we're going to continue. Um, wait, so I think you have to add it and then you have to so git, git add our file. So we've fixed the merge and then we're going to rebase continue. Da, da, da. And so this will give you a bit of a summary, right? Of what's happened. We're happy with this. Oops, oops, oops. We'll leave this. And now it will tell us that the rebase has been successful. And if we look at our logs, we'll see that um, everything has been compressed down because we haven't pushed yet. We can compare the differences. We, everything can be compressed down into this new git message, that this, this new commit with a new git message. Um, so instead of these three commits with one from branch one, branch two, and the merge commit, we now only have one commit that is um, a lot cleaner on the logs. And as you can see, this is pretty ugly, but this is quite clean. But now the problem is that we've essentially, uh, we've changed the history of the Git repository. So the only way that we can push this to the remote is we have to use a force push. And so a force push is pretty much saying, like if we try and push this now, it will tell us an error um, that um, da, 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 is behind. And essentially we've rewritten the history of the repository and there's no way of really integrating these two. Um, now git force pushing, you have to really know that what you have on your local machine is what you want on the remote because you are forcefully overwriting the remote git repositories history, right? So if I git push origin, origin master minus F, this is a force push. You'll see here that it works. And it says here, we did a forced update. And if we go and refresh our um, git repository, everything's gotten cleaner again. And if we look at this commit, we'll see that only, I mean, these chain, the patches were put on top of each other. And the result was that this, only this one modification happened, but we now have this clean, uh, sorry, git, git logs, right? So um, that's the end of git rebase. Now rebase is essentially a, is a more advanced feature of git and is only really useful if you really are picky about keeping things clean on your logs. Um, it's also, it is mo mostly used in the industry. So thank you. Um, I'm gonna go and talk about um, git stashing in the next video. So thank you.